What's up guys, in this video I'm going to be showing you how to jailbreak the 3.1 firmware for the iPhone and iPod Touch. This works with every, every device, except, there's always that except, the iPod Touch 3rd generation. How do you know if it's 3rd generation? If you bought a 32 gigabyte or a 64 gigabyte iPod Touch after September 9th, you need to make 100% sure of this, then it is a third generation and it will not work, not work with this. So a 32 gigabyte or a 64 gigabyte iPod Touch after September 9th. Listen to that again and again and make sure. Uh, so if you've bought it after that date and it's either one of those sizes, it is a, six, it is a third generation iPod Touch and do not try it with this video. I have a video out just for you guys. So. Uh, this video I'm going to be doing it on Mac. Um, I will have a guide out for PC as well, but I did that for the last jailbreak video that I did, and uh, a lot of people had problems with it, so I'm going to do it specifically just for Mac and then specifically just for PC, uh, just to help you guys out and make it a little bit easier. So let's go ahead and get started with this. As I said, it works with every device uh, except for the iPod Touch 3rd generation. So I'm going to go ahead and get to my Mac right now. Before you do any of this, you do need to sync everything from your iPhone or your iPod Touch up to iTunes that you do not want to lose because this does completely wipe out, wipe out your iPhone or iPod Touch. So make sure everything you have on this device, you sync to your iTunes and just sync right back after you're done. Alright, so before we get started, you will have to download a few things. Uh, it's only two things. You need to download Ponage Tool and you need to download your firmware for your device. And you got to make sure you're downloading the correct one. Um, instead of just linking the firmwares directly in the description, I thought like it's normally it would links will get taken down and it won't work and all that so I, what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna give you guys this site right here um, which is Felix Burns or however you say it FelixBruns.de uh, there will be a link over in the description to the right of the video so just check that out but what you're gonna have to do is if you look at iPhone iPod touch right there it is uh, all you're gonna have to do is hit this and hit the drop down menu um, let me go up a little bit and you're gonna have to select the device you need to really pay attention to what you're reading uh, it doesn't need to be 3.1 um, and make sure you got the right device. And actually, for the iPod Touch, um, it is 3.1.1. So you have, if you have an iPod Touch, it is 3.1.1. So if you have the iPod Touch second generation, which is the one with the volume rocker, uh, you will need to download this one. Uh, if you have first generation iPod Touch, we'll need to download this one, and then you can figure it out from the iPhone. That is the iPhone 3GS. Uh, that is the iPhone 3G. And then right here is the first generation iPhone. So there you go. Download the correct one for your device. Uh, save it to your desktop and download Ponage Tool. And then all you're going to need to do is go ahead and open up Ponage Tool. And uh, let's go ahead and get started. Okay, so before we uh, click your device, I do want to go through a few things. It's kind of confusing, so make sure you listen to it a few times uh, or read the Dev Team's blog. I'll have a link to it in the description because that'll definitely. I uh, help answer any questions you have before you start jailbreaking because you don't want to mess anything up. Um, because right here you see they've got iPhone, they've got iPod Touch 2G, and then iPhone 3GS. Where's the iPhone 3G? I have no idea. Uh, it does include the iPhone 3G, but I have no idea where it is. So um, you're going to have to try to get this one out on your own. I don't have an iPhone 3G to test it out. Um, I would assume that it is this one, the uh, first one, but you're going to have to try it out on your own. Uh, so what we're going to do, I'm just going to kind of read through these really quick. Um, I'm not doing anything about unlocking. If you have an unlocked iPhone 3G, do not mess with this. Uh, you need to read the dev team's blog and figure all that out for yourself. I'm not covering any unlocking in this, but basically all you have to do is update, um, and then you jailbreak it, and you unlock it. Uh, so it's pretty easy. Um, uh, there is one thing I wanted to cover. Okay, the iPod Touch second generation. This is where you have to uh, listen close to. So, iPod Touch 2G users, you're going to need to listen closely. Use Ponage Tool to create. Use Ponage Tool to create a firmware image and restore with that IPSW using iTunes. So basically, what you got to do, use Ponage Tool like I'm about to show you to create a firmware. Um, and then restore to it in iTunes. So this will only work if you are already pwned at 3.0 or 3.1. If you are at 3.1, downgrade to 3.0. Use Red Snow to pwn 3.0, and then have and then have you upgrade, uh, then upgrade like we're doing now. So basically, what it's saying is, if you've already updated to 3.1 with your iPod Touch second generation, you're going to need to download. You're going to need to downgrade to 3.0. And then you're going to need to pwn it. If you've already updated, 
I'm really sorry, you're going to have to find out on your own how to downgrade. It's really complicated and it's an aggravating task, uh, but if you Google how to downgrade iPod Touch 2G uh, from 3.1 to 3.9, I'm sure you can find some stuff. So I wanted to cover that really quickly um, and let you guys know about that. So I am doing this with the iPhone first generation. As I said, for the iPhone 3G users, I'm pretty sure you're going to have to click this first one. If that doesn't work, go ahead and click the second one. Uh, so you've got your firmware downloaded, you've got Pwnage tool. Uh, we're going to click on our device and click continue. And then we are going to, if it doesn't bring up the firmware, what you're going to need to do is hit expert mode and then browse uh, for your IPSW wherever you saved it. It should be easy to locate. Here's the one that I downloaded. So I'm just going to click that. Um, and basically you can go through some of this stuff and set it up if you'd like to. I'm not going to. Uh, let's hit next. Okay, so select a menu option. you got to select build. Uh, if you're on expert. If you're not, then you won't have to see this. You'll just go to next. Okay, so save the custom IPSW file. So what we're going to do is it's going to create the IPSW file that you're going to restore to an iTunes. So let's let it go ahead and do that. So let's hit save. And it's going to save it to the desktop or wherever it, you selected it to save. So I'm going to come back when it's done with this. Uh, it should take a few minutes depending on how fast your computer is. Uh, so just be patient. It will work. Uh, so once you get done creating the firmware, you're going to go to the next step. Uh, and this is going to take you to DFU, where it's going to teach you how to go into DFU mode. If you already know uh, how to do this, it's a pretty easy process. This guide right here, which will actually show you how. Uh, if you have any problems with this, while you're putting it in DFU mode, uh, you all you have to do to get out of DFU mode, very, very easy. Hold the home and power button, both buttons for about 20 seconds and your phone will reboot and turn back on. So any process that goes wrong in this, hold both buttons down until it reboots. So this is basically going to teach you how to go into DFU mode. You're going to be seeing this. What we're going to have to do, have your device plugged up to uh, the computer and go ahead and turn it off. Okay, once it turns off, you're going to need to be ready because it's going to tell you what you need to do. We're going to get ready to press the home and power button in a few seconds. So we're pressing the home and power button, both buttons. Okay, get ready to release the power button and keep holding the home button. Okay, we are just holding this button. I never released the home button. Okay, and uh, we should have just about be in DFU mode. So follow those steps and it will tell you how to enter, enter DFU mode and it will tell you. There you go. Okay, so if you get this error right here, I'm glad that actually this popped up. Uh, if you get this error or something similar to that, what you're going to do, hit OK um, and just basically... Uh, unplug your, sorry, I keep hitting my camera. Unplug the, the your iPhone or iPod from the computer and plug it right back up. Uh, and then iTunes should pop up. Okay, so there we go. Just hit OK to this. Uh, little messages you get. And basically all you're going to have to do, uh, since we are using Mac, what you're going to need to do is hit the Option key. So you're holding in the Option key and you're going to click the Restore button. Okay, and what it's going to do is pop up a window and uh, you're going to select the custom firmware that it created um, like the firmware that you just created with Pwnage Tool so it's really easy um, I'm actually going to just show you guys an example with the uh, firmware that I downloaded the original firmware but you are going to use the one that says custom firmware so basically all you'll do to do that is you'll click it let it restore um, and it'll go through the process take a few minutes and once it's done you will have a jailbroken iPhone or iPod Touch um, so hopefully guys this helped you out if you have any problems leave me some comments uh, I'll try to do the best I can to help you out make sure you read the description because I will do, be doing updates to it if there anything changes or you need help with something so make sure you read the notes in the description and everything should be fine and as I said for you PC users stay tuned I will have a guide on that uh, as soon as possible so that's about it guys thanks for watching um, rate five stars favorite I really appreciate it and it really helps me out uh, if you rate five stars and favorite. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.